What is up guys, it is Will here, and today we're going to be reviewing a game called Topia World Builder. This game is actually pretty fun, but we'll get into the details. Let's go and get our world set up. You can name it world, whatever you want, so we'll just call this, hmm, review. I'm literate. I just spelled it wrong. Alright, play. So, yeah, it has like little words and stuff, but basically what you do is... You form the world to your pleasing. So you click this popper and get all this stuff. Here's the animals. You can just spawn animals and stuff. Like those are friendly animals. They're gonna prosper and stuff. But you add predators. And the yeah. So we're just gonna move. I don't feel like watching animals die. So let's move over here. You can still hear them. Okay, we're gonna move. Okay. Oh, here, here we go. You can edit the worlds, you can make the world be like a mountain. Which is pretty cool. I mean build tallest mountain in Topia World Builder until it reaches its height and it's a summit. Or you can drop it again. And make it to where the waters on each side form together to create a bigger ocean. And so it's pretty cool, I mean you can also do it in the middle of the water, so you just in the one middle of the water, and it rises up. Uh, what else can we do? We can do grass. Let's go ahead and move over here. We can add some grass to the landscape, or we can make it all dirt. Depends what you want. I, f I usually just like um, making everything green and pretty and all that stuff, but having this grass here, you can put down trees. Pretty cool. But with the plant eating animals like these these things, I forgot what they're called, like pinnas or something. You'll see the grass slowly decay because they are actually eating it, which is pretty cool to see. It's almost as if you know it's like real life. You take lightning and lightning strike one of them. I kind of feel bad for doing that, but you can have birds. The birds go really high up, like like they eventually they'll just leave the top of the screen. You can see everything in a more like world to spread out view by going all the way up and you can actually see where everything is and it's pretty cool you can tell like what like you want an animal to move so I'll take this bird it'll fly that way it's gonna turn around and it's gonna fly the path that you gave it so that's pretty cool too what else can I do for you guys to show you oh yeah fish let's go ahead and move here we go we'll zoom in here just get a good view we can add in some fish Okay, little crowds of fish. At the moment, there is nothing that actually kills the fish. Because you can, like, spawn in on crocodiles. Well, that's not a crocodile. Right here. And they they go into the water, but that's all they do. They just go in and swim and join the uh, fish in the water. So we'll go ahead and go over here and add in another croc. But... As, as you can see, it's not able to spawn on this area, but here goes a croc. He's not going to hurt anything. But we'll go over here, click this fish. We'll go back to the pinos. They're over here. So we'll zoom out. It's pretty cool. The game overall, the game is like, it's pretty cool. The music's pretty cool. It's like a, um, you know, it's kind of like a Indian type of feel, like old Indian as in like Native American. So it's pretty cool. Let's create an ocean right on these things oh that poor guy's in the water can you swim i don't think you can swim he's swimming but i don't know if he's actually truly swimming there you go buddy get out of the water so I'll form an ocean right here just in front of them that's pretty cool oh no he got in the water too no i don't, I don't like hurting him for some reason it's just that animal lover part of me what else can we do? That's about it. I mean, I'll show you all the creatures here. I'll show you all the friendly creatures. So I'll spawn them all in one area for you guys. I would spawn fish, but they're friend not. I mean, they're uh, just normal. Here's all the predators. Damn! Like, like noises and stuff. It's pretty weird, but overall, this game is two dollars. You know, one dollar ninety nine cents plus tax, so about two dollars. I wouldn't recommend buying it, just in the sense that if you're gonna get this game for a time passer, like if you want to get on here, just you know, 
pass your time, you're waiting in the doctor's office, your mom's next to you and you have nothing else to do, then yeah, I, I do recommend getting it. It's a pretty fun time passer, but if you're just getting this to like do a let's play on YouTube, or getting this to just because it looks like something like Minecraft, don't get it. It's nothing like Minecraft, as you see, and it's not something you can do a let's play on unless you're doing like row to complete ocean land, but... Other than that, we're just going to end the episode here, guys. Thank you so much for watching. I'm going to put these things in the water. But yeah, thank you guys for watching. This is Shauna signing out. Happy Thanksgiving to everyone out there. Hope you guys have an amazing day. Tomorrow I'll have a video for Goat Simulator. And yeah.